Hi, and welcome back to Structure, the next in our little series of um, explaining the concepts and how to um, use them in an answer. Structure is probably the one of the most important ones to get right because nearly every answer or every question revolves around structure. So you need to know your um, sections and pieces of music. Even in a pitch question or duration question, any of the questions, they'll all refer back to structure. Okay, so for structure, you need to be thinking of potty road. The way I remember it is the structure of the road had potholes, basically. So P for phrasing, O for ostinato, T for types, I for identify, R for roll, and D for diagram. Okay, so phrasing is our first bit. Just like all the others, you have to think about whether the melody because we, you are referring to a melody is in 2, 3, 4, 8 bar phrasing. And you should by now ha know how to count it out. You need to say whether the phrases are balanced symmetrical or unbalanced asymmetrical, just like in all the other times. And you, if you have time um, and there is distinct use of call and response, don't forget, state which instruments play the call and which instruments play the response. And by um, once you've identified the phrasing, you should start to think about what sections that they're actually coming in under. Okay, next one, ostinatos. Now, in this one, unlike in pitch or in duration where you've mainly focused on either a melodic ostinato or a rhythmic ostinato, in structure you need to focus on both. So, identify if there are any repeated musical patterns or ostinatos, state when, where and by which instrument because sometimes they actually will change and that's what they're um, trying to trick you on. State whether the ostinato is melodic or rhythmic and what instrument plays it in which section. Is there use of call and response? State which instruments play the call and which instruments play the response. And are there any melodic ostinatos, for example, a familiar pattern, like a walking bass line, a repeated chord structure or riff, in other words, like a 12 bar blues or an ice cream chord change. Okay, types. Now this is the most important one because if you've got a structure question and you don't get this right, you're basically going to fail the question. Okay, so no pressure. So you need to state what type of structure it is and give an explanation. So you need to know what binary means, ternary means, rondo, song form, strophic or three composed. And if you can't identify it with confidence, at least state how many sections there are. So if you know that there's three different sections, state three different sections. Next is to identify. So here you need to identify what instrument performs in each section. So all of the instruments, so if um, the same five instruments perform all the way through, well that's fine, you state that. But if there's a different group of instruments for each section, you need to state that. If you can't identify the actual sound source, at least describe it in some form, in, you know, for example, a high-pitched wind instrument. And roll. Next, you need to be able to describe the role of each instrument in each section. In other words, the mel who plays the melody, who has the bass line, who has the rhythmic accompaniment, who's keeping the beat or the pulse, who's the melodic accompaniment the or the chordal accompaniment. So if you have a look at our little example of the Beatles here, obviously Ringo is on the drums and he's doing the rhythmic accompaniment. Then you'll have um, all the voices actually sing, so they'll be the melody. Or one voice will be the melody and um, the other two voices will be the backing vocals. And then you've got the guitars. One might be the lead guitar and the other one might be rhythm guitar and then you've got the bass line who um, is basically the, um, the chordal accompaniment as well, as well as the rhythm guitar. And lastly you have diagram. Now it's really important, you should have time to actually write a diagram and, um, and do that. So if you have time, use diagrams to describe the form. Use any shapes you wish, but you need to label the diagram, in other words, section A. So, for example, this triangle might be section A. And if you want to on your page, you might want to actually say, you know, that um, the instruments in section A are X, Y, Z. Okay, so if I've added a circle here. This could be binary form, so section A, section B. So it's A, B. Now, by putting the triangle back, that means it's ternary, A, B, A. And again, you would state what instruments in what section. Then we've got another one, C. And if we put the other one in, we've got A, B, A, C, A. And that would be rondo form because it's always returning to the main thing. And that's about as much as you need to know for structure.